Let's take a closer look at the top first base prospects heading into 2024. Up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Thursday, October 26th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White, and we'll take a look at the top five first base prospects. This is according to the Welsh, Chris Welsh, our buddy, so just want to throw that out there. These are not Scott's rankings. Number one on the list, no surprise, Kyle Manzardo of the Guardians, 23 years old, came over in the Aaron Savali trade, did have a down year here in 2023 following a breakout 2022 season, but he's performed well in the Arizona Fall League. He had some like off-field stuff going on this season as well, so I don't know that we want to hold too much against him, Scott, but I think there's still a lot to like about Manzardo, and there's a pretty decent chance he is on mm-hmm. the Guardians opening day roster. Yeah, there is, and um, I think maybe the thing that improved his stock the most in Dynasty was joining the Guardians organization in the Aaron Savale trade. Previously, he was with the Rays. They're good at player development, but they're also good at blocking talented hitters. And I was afraid that was going to happen to Kyle Manzardo in the Rays organization. Guardians, they could use all the bats they could get, and Manzardo looks like a good one. Uh, I, I don't especially hold his underwhelming 2023 against him, in part because his 2022 was so amazing. Kyle Manzardo hit that year 327 with a 1043 OPS so that's part of the reason they don't hold it against him and also even though the production was down this year hitting only 237 the data was just as strong uh, great plate discipline high exit velocities good zone contact rate i mean just looks like somebody who who profiles for average and power even though it didn't pan out for him in the minors this year the big Arizona Fall League performance i think is opening people's eyes to Kyle Manzardo's potential again but you know um if if uh if if you have an opportunity to buy low on him in a dynasty league you absolutely should the number two and three first base prospects uh we've got Xavier Isaac a 19 year old with the Tampa Bay Rays and number three is Nolan Shanuel with the Angels who is 21 years old we actually saw him play 29 games with the Angels this season after just being drafted here in 2023. Scott, I think these two prospects represent two very different outcomes. I think Xavier Isaac is kind of the name you're looking at for high upside, maybe some power, some hit tool, and Nolan Chanuel is more of like that high floor, good OBP, but I'm not really sure what else he's going to provide kind of perspective. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think it. I think what this sums up, the the disparity between those two is that first base really only has two great prospects, Kyle Manzardo and Xavier Isaac. And then after that, it's kind of just like, uh, maybe we'll, maybe this guy will be useful, but it's not like he's some can't miss prospect. So Isaac, we could talk about the numbers he had between uh low a and high a this year. They were very good, but I, I think what speaks to Xavier Isaac's potential more than anything is that like he is confined to first base. He's, He's a he's not an especially athletic looking guy, and considering he's already 19 and having problems with that, I, I think it's going to be an issue throughout his career. Um, and yet, for for being this like true first baseman, the Rays of all teams, the t- the team that values versatility over any other, made him their first round pick in 2022. So they really like Xavier Isaac's bat, and uh, I think there's a lot of upside to be had there for the 19 year old. As for Shenuel, who we saw in the majors, of course, I don't like, oh, like, okay, I, I agree. Like, just because of his on base skills, he has a future in the majors. That is without question. Exit velocity readings are just terrible. I don't see a lot of power upside here for Nolan Shenuel. Um, and so if you're, if you're playing like the floor game, okay, rank him third here. If you're, if you're saying Shanuel in, in my league, I know doesn't meet the threshold for a usable first baseman because of that lack of power. Maybe you move somebody like Matt Mervis ahead of him who had his issues in 2023. And I, I think there's reason to doubt his future with the Cubs, especially since he'll be turning 26 early next year. But I think, I think if he does stick, if he does land as a major league starter, it'll happen next year. And I think the upside is a lot higher for someone like Nolan Shanuel. So Shanuel, the ultimate safe play, 
But, you know, if you play in a shallow enough league that you don't think he's going to matter, even if he does stick around, then I think Mervis would be the better choice for you. All right, number four on this list, again, according to the Welsh, we've got Yvonne Melendez with the Arizona Diamondbacks, and number five is Blaze Jordan with the Boston Red Sox. If you want to hear more about those two players and more analysis on Matt Mervis, then you could do so on our full-length podcast, Fantasy Baseball Today. You can listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we'll be back again on Saturday. Bye-bye. 